We have spent the last three and a half months exploring all of Europe. We've traveled across so many countries and cities and now we have flown across the ocean and are spending the next month exploring Canada. First stop, Montreal. Welcome to Montreal guys. We've head out today on our first day here in Montreal to do a bit of on foot exploring. Our first stop is the famous Notre Dame Basilica. Yes, there's Notre Dame in Paris, but there's also a Notre Dame Basilica here in Montreal, which is very famous as well. And right opposite Notre Dame Basilica is Place d'Armes, which is one of the three main squares here in Montreal. It's quite famous as it has Montreal's first ever skyscraper, its first ever high rise, and Canada's first ever bank, which was the Bank of Montreal. So there's a bit of history happening around here. It's actually quite nice being in Canada, here in Montreal, and being at famous tourist spots and it not being super, super packed like it was absolutely everywhere in Europe. There is actually though a fun run happening at the moment, but otherwise it's pretty quiet. <laughs> now after a month of being with various different family members, we are back on our strict, strict budget. So we're not going to head inside Notre Dame today, but if you are looking to head inside, make sure you look up on their website because I've read that it's not always open. So you want to make sure you come when it is open on a specific time and a specific day. But I've also read that there is a very cool like light show called Aura that they do inside. I've heard it's a bit expensive, but it's very, very cool. So that might also be something worth checking out. And as I speak, the Notre Dame in Paris is still being rebuilt. Similarly, this Notre Dame here in Montreal is under maintenance. <laughs> We have now wandered from Notre Dame over to the Old Port area. More specifically, we are wandering down Rue Saint-Paul, which is meant to be a very beautiful street here in Montreal. Brick streets, just very beautiful old style buildings. So we're gonna have a wander up the street and just see if there's anything cool to see. We have wandered our way over to the Old Port area where you will find this giant Ferris wheel as well as a really cool I love Montreal sign. Stace put it well in that she said that this is Montreal's version of Venice Beach. There's a boulevard with little stalls and shops, as I said a big Ferris wheel. There's this tiny little train behind me. It's a cool place. <laughs> Just strolling along a bridge here in the Old Port area and we can actually see the biosphere which I think is at, I can't recall the exact name of the museum but it's like an environmental museum and it has this big sphere which is meant to be really really cool. I don't know if we'll make it there but it's pretty cool to see it here from a distance. So far Montreal feels like nowhere I've ever been before because it feels old and modern at the same time and by that I mean like I look over there and I see obviously a ferris wheel, a modern looking ferris wheel and skyscrapers but then I look straight ahead and I can see old style buildings. It's just a complete merge of two times. All the buildings here are so pretty which is saying something because we've just spent three months in Europe where obviously it's known, most of the cities are known for its beautiful architecture but I mean come on. <laughs> I was saying to Stace, it kind of feels like I'm in a theme park because it's theming, like it feels themed, that's how pretty it is. It kind of feels like I'm just walking through Universal Studios, maybe the New York section, I know we're not in New York, but I just got that bit of that, like that, that vibe, it's so pretty. And I noticed this in our accommodation as well, I was just looking out the window because we're on the ninth floor. And if you look down one street, you can literally see like all the way to the end of that street, kind of like here. It's just a straight street with nothing blocking it at all. I've just figured out where Montreal is. It's Parisian New York. Right? Yeah. That's what it is. Seriously though, kind of like the movie Big Hero 6 where they live in San Fran, Tokyo and it's kind of like San Francisco and Tokyo. And then also that new Into the Spider-Verse movie which I watched on the plane and really, really liked by the way. There is a scene where they're in Mumbatton, I think, which is like Mumbai, Manhattan. This is... Mon York. <laughs> no wait, no. Power, power in oh, your yeah. New Paris? New Paris. <laughs> this is New Paris. Welcome to New Paris. This is really weird, but something I'm also very obsessed with here are the street signs. Don't know why. Don't know if it's the red, if it's the font. I just love them. I think they're so pretty. Look at all the colors. <laughs> Guys, I know we've done a lot of Europe and Canada comparisons, but come on, it's our first day not in Europe for three months but 
one big one we've noticed since being here in Montreal is crossing the road. Now, if I look back to Naples, if you haven't seen that video, we'll link it here. But cars do not stop at crossings. If you are already in the middle of the road, they will not stop. It is terrifying. You've got no idea how to cross the road. To compare here, if you're not even at the intersection yet, a car will stop because they'll see you coming and they'll wait. Till you get there, they'll tell you to cross the road. It feels so much safer. Particularly, okay. Naples was definitely the worst of the bunch in Europe, but it seemed to be pretty universal that they would not stop often at crossings. I feel like we're on a roll with the comparisons between Europe and Montreal, so I'm gonna keep going. Montreal has seats everywhere, like public use seats everywhere and in really pretty environments too. We struggled to find seats, particularly in Venice. If you haven't seen that video, have a look up there. There was nowhere to sit. I love it. Guys, I apologize if this video is just a jumble of our observations, but it's just an exciting time. Obviously our first day here in Canada, first time out of Europe in three and a half months. So we're really just taking it in, really observing what is different to our experiences in Europe and just, just taking in Canada. Now in terms of our accommodation, location seems to be excellent so far. We're staying in downtown, really close to Chinatown. It's really good, it's like a whole apartment, it's massive. We have a kitchenette, which means that we can make our dinner and save a bit of money, a lot of fried rice. It was a bit pricey though, but we found everywhere was looking a bit pricey in Montreal. We did look at Airbnbs, but they were quite far out of the city. So we thought, first spot in Canada, let's stay in the city, make it nice and easy. Yeah. So far so good and we'll put a link to our accommodation in the description below if you'd like to stay there too. Okay, we've had a bit of a rest in our hotel room. Bit of an eventful day involving some fire trucks coming to the hotel but story for another time. But we've head out now for some dinner. Now we did say we're staying somewhere with a kitchen so we could cook. We cooked lunch so we're allowed to eat out dinner and there is one thing you have to try when you're in Quebec. It originated here in Quebec so that's what we're getting for dinner. If you haven't guessed it, we're getting poutine. Now poutine is essentially chips, cheese curd and poutine sauce, which is kind of like a thick gravy. Sounds pretty good to me and we're gonna head out and try some now. We had better to get poutine in Poutineville. Exactly. The food with the cheese curds are like an unusual texture. I'd say similar to like halloumi, but, but good. Well that poutine was delicious and now to finish off our day we are taking a bit of a walk, a bit of a stroll through the Latin Quarter here in Montreal. So I haven't done any research on the Latin Quarter but from experience it just seems like a really cool lively area with lots of different restaurants of all different cuisines and I recommend paying it a visit. Good morning guys from our second day here in Montreal. It is a bit fresh this morning, it's about 14 degrees Celsius but I have to say I'm finding this whole walking around and being tourist thing a whole lot easier when it's not like 30 to 35 degrees. So the whole last month has been quite nice walking around when it's been a bit cooler. Now we will be heading to some spots in about a week's time where I think it'll probably push that a little bit too far, but for the moment, really loving it. We're on our way this morning to the place that gave Montreal its name. It is Mont Royal, aka Mount Royal. It is in the park called, I think it's called Mount Royal Park. And we are heading there this morning. Apparently very good views back onto Montreal. So we're very excited. So far we found that Montreal is a very walkable city. However, today we're catching the train to get to the park. All right, we have made it to the bottom of the stairs and now the climb begins. I feel hot and cold at the same time because the air is icy but obviously we're doing a lot of walking. This is the compromise. <laughs> okay we are in Mount Royal Park. We may or may not be incredibly lost but we've taken to following this one man who seems to be like knowing where he's going hoping that he's trying to get to the same place we're trying to get to but it is a bit confusing there's not a lot of signage and the one sign we did see was in French so we're just kind of following the crowd, walking our way through. <laughs> We're a bit out of breath. <laughs> but it's a very cool park. It's very different to all the other parks we've been to on our trip. It's very dense with, you know, trees and bushes and stuff like that, as opposed to kind of open grassy areas. But it's pretty cool. We feel like we're really exploring nature today. Now that was worth the hike. 
I'm so glad we did not document how we got here because I can guarantee we took the least efficient way possible. Guys, we have made it to the Montreal Lookout. Now, on this trip around the world, we have seen many amazing lookouts like the Basilica in Budapest or even going all the way up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. But I have to say, this one is just as good, if not better, and we haven't gone that high up. It's just so amazing to look out and see the entire city of Montreal and best of all, it's free. Now, if you are unable or don't want to walk up all those stairs, you don't have to as well. I believe there is a car park so you can drive on up and still get the amazing view. And up at the lookout, you will also find the chalet, which is this huge building. It has a cafe, it's got spots for sitting if you brought your own food and toilets too. So it is handy if you have done the hike all the way up to the top. All right, we have made it down the mountain and we have stumbled across this ginormous monument. It seems to be some sort of angel with lions as well. It's huge. According to Google Maps, it is the monument to Sir George Etienne Cartier. Who that? Don't know, but it's cool. Now Stace is back on her COO duties, chief organization officer. So she's in charge of what we're doing, where we're going today. And I'll quote her just about 30 seconds ago. She said, I think I'm just gonna take us to a train station and hope for the best. Does that sound like a CEO? Uh, so my job has gotten significantly more difficult since leaving Europe as we no longer have a sim. We may get one at some point in Canada, but for the moment we've just opted to, to wing it. Back in my so, day, there was no such thing exactly, as a sim. Exactly, so I'm just winging it. So I guess that means we're on our way to a train station, if we can find it. Now there is a Montreal Wi-Fi. I haven't quite worked out where it operates yet because it seems to be operating in the most random of places. Where we walked yesterday for dinner, it worked really, really well. Up at the top of Mount Royal, it seemed to be working really well. And now that we're down back on the street, it's not there. So there is a Montreal Wi-Fi. You'll pick it up in different places, which is very helpful, but not quite sure kind of what the bounds are of that Wi-Fi at the moment. All right, so we found some Wi-Fi and we are now on our way to the station. We're walking through an area that is called the Plateau. And one of my friends actually recommended we come to the Plateau because it's quite a trendy neighborhood with lots of students and cute little townhouses, eateries, cafes, that type of thing. So it's a nice coincidence that our nice stroll, Wi-Fi free, led us in the direction of the Plateau. We have made it to the train station. We're about to hop on a train. See when we get there. We have made it to the largest market in Montreal. We have come to the Jean Talon market here in the Little Italy area of Montreal. Who knew there was a Little Italy? I wish we had a Little Italy in Melbourne. But it's an indoor and outdoor market. The indoor section is open all year round. The outdoor section closes, I believe, from October onwards, obviously during winter but it has over 300 vendors from all the surrounding farms that surround Montreal. Fruit, veggies, obviously maple syrup, and then there's some smaller like food stalls as well to get lunch, like tacos and things like that. So we're gonna have a browse, probably won't pick anything up today, but it's a really cool place to come have a look and if you are in the market for some fresh food. And to finish up our time here in Montreal, we are taking a stroll along St. Laurent Boulevard. Now, we've seen our fair share of street art in Europe in places like Berlin, Lisbon, and now we're getting another dose of it here on St. Laurent Boulevard. Apparently, Sace just said I'm sounding very Australian. Should I be saying it? St. Laurent Boulevard. St. Laurent. And I've heard every June, artists from around the globe set up shop and repaint over the murals in a mural festival. So this boulevard is known for its street art. It's a attraction in itself. And the street art isn't hidden in dark alleyways or you know behind massive buildings. It's literally painted like plastered across huge walls at every intersection. So you can tell that it's really celebrated as an art form here, which is really, really cool. And I think it's the perfect way to end our time here in Montreal. We're on to a new city tomorrow. We're gonna get a very long bus ride. Guys, we love Montreal. It was so beautiful. It was the perfect way to kick off our Canada portion of the trip. It was kind of like a halfway between Europe and Canada in terms of the culture and the architecture and things like that. It was new Paris. It was new Paris. <laughs> we loved it. But on to the next one. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you when we get to our next city. Bye.